you actually, I think it was Chris Bruff when you first met Chris Bruff. My business Bruff. partner. Yeah, yeah. He, he was the one that helped get the money together for the musicians. He did, and I blagged the studio time. You bla by telling a bit of a porky. Yeah, I went to Dick Rowe at Decker and I said, I'm going to work in America. I want to make a farewell record, tears, tears. I said, could you give me some studio time at Decker Studios? Ah, oh, well, it's always very short on time, though. He said, but I tell you what, I'll give you three hours and no more, three hours maximum. So just for old time's sake. One into studio, two at Decca Broadhurst Gardens with Cat Stevens. Record I Love My Dog with a ridiculous arrangement. No drum beat. If you listen to that record, every record up until then, boom, chuck, boom, chuck, boom, chuck. That had dum, 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 da, da, dum, 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 no bum, bum. And I thought it was the funniest, the weirdest thing I'd ever heard. It was bizarre, but it was so different. I knew. Anyway, we had 15 minutes left for our three hours because they were very serious about the three hours. And I said, we need a B-side. So Steve gets up and goes, getting hung up on Dion smiles, walking down Portobello Road for miles, does a folky thing, Portobello Road, just him and guitar. So I said, right, that's it, three hours, that's it. So I went into Decca. The next day, with an acetate, as they used to call them, a first cut <laughs> of a record. And I said to Dick Rowe, I said, look, Dick, I'm sorry. I said, you know you gave me three hours. He said, yes. I said, I didn't really tell you the truth. He said, what do you mean? I said, well, I wanted to record a new artist. I said, and I used it for doing He said, how dare you? He said, I would, out of the goodness of my heart and Decker's heart, he said, we gave you this time. He said, look what you've done. He said, you've thrown it back in my, I said, would you just listen to it? Just listen to it. Puts the record on the turntable, puts the arm on, plays I Love My Dog, finishes, takes the arm off, looks at me and goes, up to the phone. Put me through to Sir Edward, Sir Edward Lewis, the chairman of Decker, the big man. Sir Edward, would you come down? I've got something you'd be interested in. Puts it down, I thought, oh my God. God, he's got the chairman's going to bite a chunk out of me. <laughs> I'm dead. Sir Edward Lewis comes down, listens to I Love My Dog, utters the immortal words, which is again a Peter Sellers line, and says, my boy, you are a genius. 